Finding a lot of interesting and unique stuff in this DLC so far. Open the security door. Looks like we're on the right track. Where are we now? Oh, this is the entrance. So we looped back, but we never found what we were looking for. Shit, we gotta go back. We never found it. Oh, this is where I came from. How do I... I must have run by whatever this item is I'm looking for. But I killed everything in here now and I got all the items, so I can just run in quick and try to find it. This is straight ahead. To the left? To the left, in here. I must have ran right by it. It was probably past the, the giant robot thing that I killed. Here it is. I did. I ran right by it. Whoa, I didn't look here. Jezebel. The Robo Brain is called Jezebel. Look at this area. What the heck? Anything back here? No. Alright, let's talk to Jezebel. to them. Fortunately for me, they're stupid enough to actually believe anything I say. Admittedly, it hasn't gotten me very far, but it has saved me from the same fate as my rather unfortunate comrades you see in pieces around you. Now, back to my original question. What are you doing here? Uh, tell her. Radar beacon. A radar beacon. A radar beacon. How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% .8 chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, <clears throat> then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. Hmm. Okay. How could I possibly help you? Willing to listen? How surprising. I'll take that as a gesture of good faith as I describe our potential bargain. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. <laughs> and two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? Oh, speech challenge. Will you double cross me? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we made. Now that we have that out of the way, do we have a deal? Hmm, not sure. I guess we'll have to trust her, or else we're never going to find the mechanist, so... Deal. A wise decision. Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hostile location and get us both out of here at once. Well, it's not hostile anymore. I killed everything. <laughs> we gotta take her. All right. Exit the hangar. Let's go. Maybe it was supposed to be a lot more challenging because maybe like all those those enemies that were hiding out were supposed to come after me after I grabbed the head. But I grabbed the head late. 
<laughs> this door never opened, huh? Hmm. Now that's the door I came from. It just closed behind me. Okay, so we're supposed to force you into the second half of the place where all the enemies were, but I already killed them all. Robot in here. Ah! Got it. A laser beta wave tuner. That could be a new item. Didn't have that before. Okay, so how do I get out of here? I think I went up last time. Or was it through here? No, it was through here. Watch the tripwires. I'd rather keep myself intact today, thank you. Jezebel, I already did all this. I did it without you because I didn't see your head there. You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you? What? They're all dead! Wow, they certainly didn't expect that someone would go clear it out first and then go back and get her, did they? <laughs> Silly affair. I cleared out the entire area already. I can go right to the front door. I don't think we're gonna make it out of here. Not even one bullet was fired near here. <laughs> well, we made it. What a surprise! We made it. Build a body. Okay. Hey. I did. Here you go, Ada. The final radar beacon. I'll need that head back when you're done. Of course. Shouldn't take but a moment. There you go. Still in one piece. I'm not sure why you want the head back. All we needed was its radar beacon. Besides, robo brains are notorious for being, well, a real pain in the neck. Hmm. Now that you have the final radar beacon, will it be enough Damn. to track down? Damn! I look badass in this new armor and weapon. I hope so. I've already started the calculations while we've been having this conversation. That still doesn't explain why you need that head back. Okay. What else do you know about the Maiden? Quite simply, it's the first time General Atomics produced a successful union between organic matter and robotics. The brain is used both as a control unit and a data storage unit, which is far more efficient than using standard circuits. Unfortunately, there were a lot of programming issues with these robots, which caused them to be a bit, shall we say, unhinged. Hopefully, this particular robo-brain will have some of the answers that we've been seeking. Oh, like a synth, huh? A union of organic matter and robotics? Sounds an awful lot like a synth. Not at all. The Robo-Brain was built with a very different design philosophy in mind. General Atomic's intent was to use the human brain to augment the robot's functions. Primarily, to accelerate the decision-making process. Free thought and individuality was never intended. These were expressly built like soldiers, to follow orders without question. The Robo-Brain's unfortunate tendency towards violence and aggression should be considered more of a malfunction than a calculated decision. Okay. We still need it, Ada. 
I believe it can help us access the Mechanist's facility. Of course. It makes perfect sense that the Mechanist would not only keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Oh, why did you say that? Why did you say something like that? Isn't it obvious? Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be What alive. the hell? It's a freaking Sometimes I wish regret. The had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. This is pretty crazy. A robot that feels regret. Let's do the stronger voice challenge. You're an individual. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. Hmm. Ada's actually a nice robot. Well, we have to build Jezebel a body. Which means I have to go back to camp, right? Yeah, I have to go back to the fort, the castle, and build her a body there because that's where the stand is. So let's go. Alright. <laughs>